down in the southern United States, five NASA centers are in the midst of a once-in-a-generation transformation. The Space Agency is working on a massive rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS, and a new human crew capsule called Orion. To see how those programs are doing, the Planetary Society went on a 10-day, 450-mile journey across the South. We called it the Rocket Road Trip. NASA's Space Launch System will one day carry astronauts, but the big rocket can also be used for science missions, particularly an ambitious probe to seek out signs of life on Europa. Right now, it takes almost seven years to get a spacecraft to Europa. With the added boost from SLS, that time can be shaped to just two and a half years. NASA is also carving out some room on SLS to give a fleet of smaller spacecraft a free ride beyond low Earth orbit. After Orion is safely on its way to the moon in 2018, SLS will deploy more than a dozen spacecraft headed out on a variety of different missions. So, you know, we're talking about small payloads here, where this one uh, called is a 1U, uh, 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter. Sure. Um, on this mission for EN1, we're doing what we call 6U. So we're expanding it up to, you know, the 6U size payload here. This, this top piece comes off, leaves this ring exposed, and that's where the, right here, the payloads start popping out. That is correct. So one of the Japanese payloads is actually going to land on the moon and do some... Um, it's going to land? land? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. So that if they're successful, they'll be the fourth country to actually land um, a payload on the moon. Oh, wow. This is the first opportunity that we're giving secondary payloads access to deep space. One spacecraft going up might be familiar to members of the Planetary Society. It's called NIA Scout, and will use a solar sail to visit a near-Earth asteroid. That's the same technology we're demonstrating with our light sail spacecraft. In fact, our engineering team has been exchanging information with NASA to help with the project. NIA Scout stands for the Near Earth Asteroid Scout Mission. What we're doing that's kind of advancing this is we're actually planning on taking some imagery and doing some science with it um, beyond low Earth orbit. We'll do a really close flyby. We'll get within a couple kilometers of oh, it wow. to get a really nice pictures and see how it's rotating, possibly get some albedo measurements, which is what the science community really wants to know. The goal is that you can build a lot of these types of spacecraft for a reasonable budget and visit multiple asteroids since there's, you know, thousands of them just nearby. It was quite an adventure traveling across the South, seeing how NASA is transforming itself around SLS and Orion. The first test flight is just two years away, and after that, it may not be long before the first astronauts saddle up to ride the world's most powerful rocket. Thanks for joining the Planetary Society on our rocket road trip. If you want to dig deeper into NASA's human spaceflight program, be sure to visit planetary.org slash horizon goal. There, you can read our multi-part story series on space policy and rocket science.